Hello, my name is Dan Michelson. I'm a fisheries biologist with the Department of Wildlife Resources. Today we'll be talking about striped bass management in Virginia. We'll be talk turning this talk over to Mike Gaffrey at the Vic Thomas Fish Hatchery, where he's going to be talking about the harvest of the singling striped bass out of rearing ponds and stocking in the area lakes in Virginia. We're at the tail end of the striped bass production season for 2021. We work in collaboration with King and Queen Fish Hatchery, produce striped bass for stocking in the state waters of Virginia. Once striped bass are hatched in the hatchery, at about three to five days of age, the larvae stocked into earthen ponds. Um, the earthen ponds here at the hatchery are about four acres in size. We fertilize those ponds to grow a natural zooplankton. After about 30 days, the scales have moved from underneath the skin of the fish to the surface of the fish, which then makes the fish a little more durable for handling. Is that point that we start to drain the pond down. It can take anywhere between seven to ten days to drain a pond. The draining process can be very slow and laborious because we want to make sure that the fish are not trapped on the drain screens and causing damage to the skin. We also must be monitoring our temperature to make sure the pond stays fairly cool as the pond drains down. And so we'll be pumping river water into the pond to cool it down while the pond is still draining. Once we have the pond drained to the point where the fish are falling into the kettle, we'll go into the kettle itself or the, or the catch basin. We'll drag a net through there, take a two and a half gallon bucket, and then we'll pass that bucket up to an awaiting truck. And that awaiting truck has a combination of salt and uh, aloe vera type uh, compound and oxygen. There, when we have enough fish in that truck from the harvest, we bring them up to the hatchery where they're placed into a raceway. And the raceway will be able to enumerate those fish the next day to go into the receiving bodies of water. During the process of transportation at the hatchery, we'll crowd those up into one end of the raceway and then we'll dip those out and then enumerate or weigh those fish into a bucket with water which is then placed onto a waiting transport truck. We put so many fish on the truck that corresponds to what the field biologist is requesting for that lake. We'll drive those to that lake and once we arrive we start a tempering process to try to get the water temperature and the water quality to match between the transport truck and the lake. Once the uh, fish have been acclimated then we'll gently discharge those fish through a pipe and into the lake. And that's a truck stocking. In a pelagic stocking We'll transfer the fish from the tank into the boat, the boat motors out and to a particular area where the field biologist feels it would be the most beneficial. And then we start metering out those fish along this stretch. With the end point is we want the fingerlings to have good survival. We're here to serve the anglers and to enhance the resource to the best of our ability. For more information on striped bass management in Virginia, please check out our website. We've also had two other videos in this series. If you'd like to hear more about how we manage the striped bass fishery and the stocking rates that we set for each of the reservoirs in Virginia. The second video dealt with how we collect brood stock and how they're actually raised up in the fish hatchery. 